So this is one of the very first projects I've done that's gone really well. <clears throat> I took a 1993 RCA camcorder, used to be a VHS camcorder, and stuck the Raspberry Pi HQ camera module in it behind the lens, wedged it, on, <clears throat> wedged it in with tape, and then uh, wrote a little program for Python in Python that will run the camera. So we'll start the program, which looks for key presses on a keyboard. If you hit R for record, it'll bring up the preview screen and start recording video. And I got the lens mounted and most of the zoom and everything figured out. I got the macro mode kind of sorted out on this camera. Before I couldn't get this clear of a picture, it would always look like this. Just a little blurry. Put into macro mode and it'll clear it right up. So that's it. And then um, you hit S for stop. And then you can hit P to take a picture. I'll just grab a quick snapshot. And when I'm done with this, this will be a full blown camcorder running a Raspberry Pi at 1080p. All right, that's it. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, so I was working on my Raspberry Pi camcorder project. The best video I got right now is actually my GoPro strapped to my head. But I was just going to do the camera. <clears throat> Excuse me. This camera. It has a Raspberry Pi HQ camera module attached to the lens. Which actually works out pretty good. And then other than that, it's pretty well hollow. I've been trying to figure out what to do. For, <clears throat> excuse me, a viewfinder as well as uh, a screen to run the computer, the Raspberry Pi 4, which I'm going to use for maybe editing the video, but just as a general computer for managing files and whatnot. So I might have to do like a Raspberry Pi 0 to run the camera and record the files and the audio, and then have the Raspberry Pi 4 as a secondary computer running the editing software and whatever else. So the the exciting part is uh, I wasn't sure exactly what to do <clears throat> for a big main screen until I realized I had this thing and that it fits. So I've actually got a Raspberry Pi the official 7 inch touch screen. I used some aluminum bracket on the back to mount it in with a screw and I can actually just get this big touch screen in there run it on here. I've got a remote with all the media controls and a keyboard on the back. So I'll get some magnets or something to hold this on. Some little rubber plugs to hide these. And it'll look like a normal camera from the 90s. So hopefully no one will want to touch it. And then when you go to use it, you'll have all kinds of crazy features. Like a big touch screen. I'll have either a viewfinder here. I have the original. The CRT's burned out. So either fix that. Or I'll probably put just a little screen here so you can put it up on your shoulder and have a little LCD screen out here that you could swivel and turn around, flip it backwards, look at it from the front. And uh, that's what I got so far. It should be a pretty good camcorder. The image coming off of it kind of has a 90s look to it, which I really enjoy. Reminds me of some of the documentaries I grew up watching, which is kind of why I'm doing this project. And for now, I'm getting excited to get back to work, so I'm going to turn this off. And then get the Raspberry Pi mounted and hooked up and get this running. And then I'll have an update after that. So another good use of this camcorder. This considering it has a general purpose computer in it. Is to watch TV. <sighs> completely mother come on we're not shut up and utterly we're not shut up and ruined we're not ruined camille we've got two thousand pounds of cocaine minus the 20 kilos you sold for monopoly money oh minus however much pam ate probably two kilos mm. or three or whatever quit eating all the mm. goddamn cocaine make me so yeah when you're bored you can watch tv it'll run emulators you could do graphical editing on it, you could do actual real work, or you could just dick around and watch TV, which is probably what I'll do a lot of the time. 
yeah, it's it's super useful.